There we go. Okay. Doesn't look like she called in a horde. So that worked out pretty good, man. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days of Dying Dead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are going to pick up right where we left off in the last episode by going back out to our um, enemies. Prepare for conflict. our mine and finishing the setup of the of the turret. Oh, we got like a little horde out here. Okay, let's just go. Get out of the way. Uh, so, let's see. We are, or I am, i got a couple things to tell you. Uh, first of all, you might notice that the video format is now back to uh, the widescreen format because Samsung finally got me a new monitor. Um, I purchased a, a G5 Odyssey ultra-wide monitor in the summertime, and two months later, it, it fritzed out on me. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm not paying attention. And so I turned it, I sent it back to him because, of course, you know, it's under warranty. And it took them a month to get, finally get me a new one. Uh, and they actually replaced it. They gave me a brand new one. And so that just came in last night. Got it hooked up today. And we're back in widescreen world. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I, it's taken me a little bit to get back used to it because, you know, if you, if you ever use an ultra wide, and it's a curved monitor too. Um, you know, you got a lot wider view, of course, and so it takes takes the eyeballs a little bit of getting used to it after, you know, being on the flat screen 27-inch monitor, which is what I had to revert back to for the last month. Uh, but anyway, I'm happy to have this back um, and back to the widescreen world because it's just more immersive and lots of, cool, lots of fun. All right, so the other very important announcement I have to make to all of you guys is that I am actually going to be out of town uh, starting tomorrow, October 17th, for a week. I will return the following Monday on the 24th, uh, but I won't get home till late later. Um, and I will resume, uh, you know, the, the normal schedule when I return. So this will be the last video uh, that you will have for this week. And then when I return, we'll pick up where we left off and continue on because I still have lots more episodes planned. Um, hey, there's a thing out there. Let's go check it out. A lot more episodes planned, you know, for this series. Uh, one of those plans, uh, as I've already mentioned to you guys, is that um, we're going to... Uh, my plan is to update uh, to the the new version, and we're going to replace our ladder system with elevators. But in order for you know me to do that, I've got to gather a whole mess of resources, iron in particular, and steel. And uh, so that's why I've really been focusing on getting this mine up and running the last uh, few episodes. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna do something. What was I gonna do? I was gonna do something. I said to myself, "Self, you need to do this." Oh, uh, let's do this treasure map uh, in this episode too. So, uh, this is Raphael's treasure map. All right, and that is gonna be that direction. How far in that direction is it? Uh, not not terribly far. Okay. All right, so yeah, we'll go, after we get the turrets set up, um, we'll run over and do that uh, in this episode as well and see what we can find in the mine there. Do I still have jailbreakers on me? Uh, I don't. Okay, we, we'll probably have to go get some jailbreakers because I'm not sure if my lockpicking's high enough to open that chest. We'll get, we'll get them regardless just so, you know, that way we have them. If, and if we don't need them, we don't need them. Okay, yeah, so let's get on out to the mine here. Uh, we were in the process of getting our turrets set up when uh, night came and we got... Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Uh, we got ambushed, which is was to be expected. And so, yeah, we had to leave. It got too hot. It got hot really quick. <laughs> so we had to get the hell out of Dodge. Um, I thought I heard more footsteps. Down with the sickness. Okay, um, looks like we have a few spike traps that we need to fix there, too. In fact, I know, uh, you know, there's more damage and stuff along here. What I might ultimately do 
is put like a concrete, you know, like this kind of set up here all the way around, uh, you know, just to reinforce that. But uh, turrets are the number one thing first, though, for us to get finished. So, okay, I have in my inventory, I've got the generator. I was going to put the generator over here, at least for the time being. Um, let's put it just up on this building, and we'll run the, the wire down to the to that um, relay that's down there. I don't think the Zika Roos will will bother it over here, especially, you know, maybe even if we put it up on the wall there. Okay, let's refuel it, and we'll put these engines in. And we'll probably need to get some more fuel in there too. Okay, now, can I reach that relay from here? We're going to have to figure that one out. Um... Here, maybe what we can do is this. Why isn't that connecting? Oh, there we go. Okay. And then, do we still have the... No, it's just a little too far away. Dog on it. All right. Um, then let's try plan B here. Oh, shit. That's not what I meant to do. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Um, all right, let's pick that back up. I meant to put a, a wood block down. Uh, let's use this. My senses have picked up something. Get out of here. Okay, wood blocks, not concrete blocks. What we're going to have to do, I think, is just jump down there. Oh, really? You're red? Oh, come on, man. You're killing me here. I didn't think that's that, that was that far away. Ah, shit. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's do this the other way around, then. I need you to get out of the way, Roberta. So we're going to hook it up down here and then go up that way. Shut up! Okay, I just have to be able to get it over there. Whoops. Without it turning red. Crawler, you're gonna totally mess me up here, aren't you? Why is that not hooking to that? Incoming enemies. Yeah, I don't Prepare think it's yeah, it's not gonna let me do that because I have to go from the power source to the item. What a pain in the ass. Um alright, so think, think, think. There's there's gotta be a way to do this. Can I see that from down here? Uh, yeah, I can. I can just barely see it there. Okay, so what if we do this? It's not red, right? Uh, just popped up a second ago. It's like one pixel. And then I moved my mouse as soon as it popped up. Got it. There we go. All right. Well, that was more difficult than it should have been. <laughs> uh, but we got it done. All right. Now, uh, let's go back down here. And we need to run a line from hither to yon. And then from hither to yon. If we can reach it. We might need another relay. Oh, shit. Come on, I've zombos. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. 
Where's the cop at? There he is. So let's put another uh, block up here and see if we can get up high enough to hook this up. Is it red? Nope. Beautiful. We did it. We got her done, man. We got her done. Okay, so the turrets are now connected. Oh wait, no, this one's not connected. We gotta get this one connected. Um, is it possible to reach from it reach that relay? I don't know, that's gonna be tight. It's possible though. Let's just see. We gotta get you connected there. You turn red right here, but can I see the relay from here? Uh, what if we... Uh, Roberta, get the hell out of the way. You're such a pain in the ass. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. Uh... We did it. Okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so the turrets are connected. Um, did I load them? I don't remember. So we need to load them and we need to uh, angle them properly. What do we got over here? That guy. And Pooch. Come here, Pooch. Let's take care of you first. My senses have picked up something. Get out of here. Okay. So I take care of those yahoos. Um, now, let's look at this. Uh, actually, I think we need to power it up first before we can adjust the thingy. You must power this component to use a camera function. What do you mean? Oh, we lost our connection. How did that happen? What the hell? Did I accidentally disconnect it? I, I guess I did. There's no other explanation. Okay, let's try this again. It's right... Uh, there. Okay. Do we have the ammo in the mining cart? Because it seemed to... No, that's not what I want to do. I want to get in here. Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, let's grab another gas and another engine. I don't think we need another engine, but I might add more turrets later, so we'll just put it in there anyway. Well, what's the power draw right now? It's... Is it drawing 15 watts or generating 50 watts? What's the say? Oh, yeah, these are only using 5 watts each. Okay, we're good. I think it's generating 15 watts. All right, now, um, so we have... We don't quite have enough to fill all of them, so we can put a full stack, a half of those, and a half of those. And that should make both of them even. You must power... Okay, turn on. Camera preview. Why can't I get in... You must power this component to use the camera function. Huh? 
how did how did that get to is there like a limit to how many connections can be on one relay here let's do this one i'm confused <laughs> maybe undead legacy changes that okay Yeah, see, this one's working. Okay. So we basically just want it looking at that other corner, um, maybe actually a little further this way, so that way it'll pick up any Zekers that come along the edges. And I don't, I don't think it can get all the way across there, so we probably want to bring it down this way a little bit too. So I'm thinking right about there is good. Okay, so oh, here, let's look at the description of this. Use to connect and extend wires between electrical components. Required power load 10. Oh, okay, so is it, does that mean it's based upon... No, I think that's a physical load, because it's got a weight there. Let's try, um, it, it appears to me like there's a limit to how many connections you can have on these. But let's try it one more time, just in case I, you know, maybe I messed something up. All right, Roberta, that's it. Get in my belly. I my hard drives while in storage. That's right, you do that. Okay, so if I connect this to here, yeah, there's a limit because now it just disconnected the Jenny. I think normally in the vanilla game, I think you can have like five, up to five connections on a single relay, but that apparently is not the case in Undead Legacy. Alrighty then. Um, then that means... What does that mean? It means we're going to have to have a separate relay for that guy. Um. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to put another concrete block in here for reinforcing purposes. Might even put, let's just put two in, since this is really weak material here. And we're going to have to disconnect that. Put another relay there. which I can't see. Um, can I get... Yep. Oh, it's the same thing. It's just barely one little pixel. Okay. And then, hopefully we can run multiple connections off of one generator. Otherwise, what in the hell would you do, right? Um, here, let's get, we're going to have to get this little setup again for the third time. <laughs> man, oh man. Okay. I'm gonna... Yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna get myself on the spikes here. Alright. I did not expect this to job to be this complicated. Uh, right there. Air, air. Air.
I'm. Uh, what the hell's going on here? This, I had the, had this. There. All right. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Now. Uh, oh no! Wait. We need to connect to the other relay. Uh, which means we still need this. Come on. Okay, that's working. Whew. All right, I was a little concerned. That it wasn't going to work. Let's leave those there, though. Now, this should work. Theoretically, this should work. That's about as far as I can get. Okay, can we get... See that? Yep. Right there. But it disconnected the line again. Why is this happening, you guys? I am so corn-fused. Does he have a limit? A limitation to where you can only have one Jenny per turret? Shut up. I don't have time to eat right now. Yep, that pulls the wire off of there. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on. I really don't. It's, uh... This is confusing. It's definitely not the way it works in vanilla. So, um... Turret. SMG auto turret. A motion sensing turret that uses 10 millimeter SMG ammo. It says nothing about a limit of one generator per turret. Does it not does it not like the distance? Do I just need like another relay? Is that what the issue is? Um, do I have another relay on me? I don't. Shoot, I'll have to go all the way back to the base to get one. No, I don't have one in here either. Okay, well, um, it isn't an overload situation because both of those turrets together are only pulling 10 watts, and we have 16 watts output. Well, that turret's definitely working. Um, okay, so the only other thing I can think of to do... Well, there's two things I can think of to do. We either need another relay, and I don't think that's going to do it. It shouldn't matter. Or maybe we, ha we have to have a dedicated Jenny for, for this one. Or either that or something's broken. Um... Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just really weird. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's go do our treasure. Well, no, we got to go back to the base and get some jailbreakers anyway. So we'll go back to the base. I'll make another generator. I'll make another relay. And then we'll run out. We'll do the buried treasure, and then we'll come back here later on in the day and see if we can get this to work. So I will see you guys. Actually, I'll probably just see you guys out at the buried treasure. All right, guys, we are at our destination here. I hear a puppy. And 
puppy gave us a, an abrasion. Kind of rude. Let's get rid of you too. Okay, so we are at our treasure site. Uh, there's another thingy there. Look at that tree growing right up into this building. Is there anything to loot over here? Take that up there. Desk is not lootable. Uh, isn't there usually something up on that little ledge on these things? There's a toolbox. Is it lootable or not? Uh, don't think so if the drawers are open. So, yeah, all right. Let's just forget about that then. Uh, we're a little bit overweight, too, because I made some gasoline while I was back at the base. So let's drop a little bit of that off. In fact, this probably needs to fuel anyways. Um, okay. What else do we have that's kind of heavy besides the gasoline? We want all of that stuff. Okay, so let's um dig on down. Actually, these are kind of heavy too. And uh, see if we can find this treasure. So, where's the southeast corner? Is it southeast or southwest corner? I think it's the southwest. I don't remember. I think it's the southwest corner that where it usually is, so I could be wrong about that. But we'll just start here. It's going to be right in this little circle here somewhere. That narrows it down pretty good. <laughs> oh, company. Uninvited guests. There you are. Oh, you're really deep. Um, oh, I guess we didn't need lock uh, our jailbreakers for this. Okay, well, that's good to know. All right, let's start counterclockwise. Right there. If you guys have been watching me for a while now, you know that I'd say about... Uh, that's a nice little little b bunch of ammo, including some more 10 mils for our turrets and 4,158 tokens. I'll take it. Very nice. Uh, anyway, what I was saying was that if you've been watching me for a while now, you know that I'd say about 70 to 80% of the time, those locks um, are, are you go counterclockwise. <laughs> it seems seems pretty pretty highly consistent. Now... I, it's probably still completely random, but it's just, I don't know, that's just what it, in my in my experience, it opens quite a bit more often if you go um, counterclockwise. So, it's really heavy, so let's get a couple of these, and we want to keep those so we can put them in the turrets. Um, these buzzards are going to come after us, but let them come. Okay, let's head on back to our mining site now and see if we can get those turrets going. Okay, we are back. Uh, let's see. I want to make sure we got you out of there. All of you can go back in there. This is for, Those are 44s. Uh, so put that in there. Oh, shit. Mm. I made another generator and I forgot to grab it. Dad, burn it. All right, well, <laughs> shit. Well, let's try and see if the relay idea works instead. I, I don't think it's going to, but we're going to try it. Uh, the, con the idea is that we just need another relay. Um, 
So why don't we put that maybe here. And guess what I also left uh, is the relays that I made too. I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Well, for you, a second or two. For me, a few minutes. Can't take me anywhere. But you guys already knew that, didn't you? Okay, guys, we're back uh, at the location. Uh, so let's try the relay um, thingy first. And again, I'm not expecting that this is going to matter, but if it, if it does work, then that's good. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. Okay, so the idea now here is to... Looks like we got Nurse Nancy's attention here. Uh, to see if this works, right? So you don't have any scrap... Are, are you kidding me? Oh, for goodness sakes. you got to be kidding me. Seriously? All right, here, here's what I'm gonna here's what I'm gonna do, you guys. <laughs> um, I'm gonna cheat some in, and then the amount that I cheat in, I will deduct from my supply when I get back to the base. I, I just I don't have time in real life <laughs> to run all the way back to the base to grab that and come back out here. I'm, I'm, I got to get packed for my trip, and I got some other things going on. So, um, let's see. Let's go into here, and we're just going to open up the creative menu. And then uh, we want to go to wire, and I'm just going to grab, whoops, 20 wires. Okay, and then like I said, when I get back to the base, I'll take 20 wires. I mean, I've, I've got hundreds of wire back at the base, so it almost doesn't even really matter, but I'll take 20 wires out and, and get, oh shit, I get rid of them. Okay, anyway, back to this. So, let's go here. And here. Okay, and that did not disconnect to the generator. Because the because we have the incoming wire. Okay, can't quite get to that, so jump up this way. I think that worked. Um, yeah, it worked. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> I guess it was, maybe it, it was just because it was right on the verge of being too far away. Of course, these, these connections kind of are too. I don't know. I can't really explain that, but it's working. And that's the important thing. So good. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's get into this turret now. And we'll put half of that ammo in, turn it back on, and now we're live. Beautiful. Okay, so same thing. We want to just kind of point diagonally this direction. And that's probably pretty good right there. All right, nifty. Let's double check this one too. Well, I can already tell it's working because I can hear it. Oh, well, we do want to put that extra ammo in it though, so. Turn off. Very good. All right, you know what? I'm going to chuck those. And so now I only owe the game two wires. So if I forget, <laughs> who cares? It's not a big deal. Okay. Fan friggin' tastic, you guys. We got the turret set up. So, now what we're going to do is um, I'm going to... Yeah, it's starting to get on in the day. Uh, so, I'm going to do some um, mining. And it is inevitably going to call in a screamer. And we'll just see how the turrets do. Okay, so let's pick up these extra blocks over here. And also, 
yeah, I think you're doing okay for fuel right now. But you know what? I made some more fuel, so let's just put a little more in. Anyway. We'll put, say, like three more, more cans in. Okay, that should keep that going for quite some time. And, you know, of course, we, when we leave, I'll turn it off. Well, hopefully I'll remember to turn it off. And we don't need that extra engine. Okay. I think we're ready to, uh, to do this. Now, in case you're wondering, my plan for, for access is, um... Are these all damaged? I don't have any boards on me. My plan for accessing the mine as it gets deeper and deeper is we're probably going to make an access tunnel. And probably one that's wide enough for us to drive the mining cart down to. So I haven't completely figured out exactly how I'm going to do that, though. But it'll probably be... It could be like a multi-level thing, or maybe it will make the tunnel go all the way down to bedrock and then work our way back up to where we're currently mining via a ramp system or something like that. I have to think about it a little bit more, but that's the general plan anyways for how, how that's going to work. Okay, fantastic. Uh, so, let's pop a coffee. Let's pop a sham chowder. Let's pop a rock busters. And let's get to mining here. And uh, we will be calling in screamers uh, pretty soon. Okay, let's do it. All right, we got company. Oh shit, it's a bear. That's not good. Fortunately, the turret softened him up for us a little bit. Goodness gracious. Okay, um, let's put you here for now. And we will continue. I'm sure we're heating up the area quite a bit. Okay, so we got this level completely mined. Let's launch Roberta so she can carry a little bit of weight for us. There, let's just give her all of this stuff for now. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's start now down at the next level. Uh, we do have some gravel going off that way. And also, you know, we, we kind of went down into here too to get a bunch of iron. But hmm, I, I don't I don't really want to make this a whole lot wider and I don't want to do a bunch of digging out on the sides to collapse it up above either. So I think I think we're just gonna keep going down for now. I mean we can always come back later and expand that if the if you know the need arises. So yeah, let's just kind of stick with what we got here. I can't believe we haven't called any screamers in yet. There we go. Okay. Doesn't look like she called in a horde. So that worked out pretty good, man. The turrets are working out really good, actually. Okay, so yeah, you know what I'm going to do then? Um, I'm not going to do this immediately. Well, I don't know. We really should probably reinforce the edge of these with concrete just you know where this uh the spikes are and then i just need to repair and replace and upgrade in case in the case of wood spikes that um 
because the spikes are still helping. You know, they're they're getting the zombies caught up on them and giving the turrets a chance to nail them and doing damage, you know, in their own right, too. Uh, and, you know, we could even add barbed wire to the mix, too, because barbed wire is really good at hanging on to them, even though it doesn't really do damage like the spikes do, or not significant damage. So, yeah, I think this is going to uh, work out pretty good. Um, definitely better. Uh, bet, you know, much improved now that we actually have the working turrets. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go here, and I'm just going to keep mining here until nighttime. Get as many resources as I can. Um, of course, I'm going to, I'm actually going to be running out of gas. I shouldn't have put as much gas in the mining cart as I did, but oh well, whatever. And so just want to remind you guys once again that I am going to be out of town uh, for the rest of this week. So this will be the last uh, video, uh, Undead Legacy video that I will be putting out until I return um, on the 24th. So probably on the 25th, if all goes well, uh, will be the next episode. And I appreciate all you guys uh, watching the series. Glad you're still enjoying it. I'm sure uh, definitely still enjoying it. Lots of fun. Lots more content planned on this series, um, including, you know, upgrading to the... Uh, uh, the new version. Um, I'm not sure if we'll do that, you know, before Stable comes out or not, but we'll figure it out one way or the other. And with that, I bid you guys adieu. Thanks for watching. We'll see you when I get back from my trip. Bye-bye.